Yo, 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 it's your boy Draco DM from the 910. I just jumped off the porch with your boy Dirty Glove Bastard. Let's get it. Yeah, I want a all dead. Yeah, I want a all dead. Yeah, I want a all dead. So we got Draco Dean jumping off the porch with us today. And you know what it is, Draco Dean from the 910 putting on, you know how we coming. Yes, sir, man. Welcome, man. How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I appreciate you swinging by today, I appreciate too, you man. having me, my man. No doubt, man. Sure. Yeah, go ahead and introduce who's sitting behind you today, too, man. man. I got my manager with me, Strickland Kid, on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? He be keeping me booked up, keep me busy. If you need features, bookings, that's who you go through. Okay. That's what's good, man. So you got anything else working here in Atlanta during this trip, or you just came Man, down here for the interview? Now we come down here to network, come down here for the interview, a little bit of networking, see the city, turn up. Okay, that's what's good, man. I see you've been performing everywhere too, man. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to get it. That's what it's about, networking. Got to get your name out, get your face out, get people to follow you, get people, you know what I'm saying, get traction, you know what I'm saying, bring people in the building. That's what it's all about. Absolutely, man. What's been one of your favorite cities that you performed in so far? Uh, South Carolina so far, Little Rock, South Carolina, at the Whiskey Barn. They okay. showed me, show me a lot of love out there. So. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie though, turning up at Fusions, opening up for Pee Wee, that was the one. I saw you flick it up yeah, with him, man. Yeah, that shit was turn. Yeah, he showed love, shout out to Pee Wee. Yeah, I know his fans go crazy, so oh, yeah. they was on go as soon as oh, yeah. you get Oh, yeah, those real fans, those real fans right there. Those yeah, real man. fans. That's what's good, man. All right, so what part of North Carolina are you from, man? Now, I'm from Lumberton, North Carolina, but I put on for the whole Robinson County. I ain't just wanna center okay. out one city. You feel what I'm saying? I'm putting on for everybody because we all need light. Yeah, I feel that. So what's it to do up there, man? Is it like a man, small county, a small man, town? Or? It's really it's really considered the biggest county in North Carolina, <laughs> but we call it small because everybody know everybody. You feel what I'm saying? But that shit, there really ain't too much of nothing. There ain't many opportunities. That's why I'm trying to bring some light to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's really more violence in the lower class area, you know what I'm saying? That's what people know us for, but we need to be known for something else than that. So, yeah. so I, that's my mission, you feel me? I got you. Has there always been a lot of violence out there, or has oh, it yeah. gotten a lot worse? Nah, it's, it's always been bad, and it just keeps getting worse the time to time, you know what I'm saying? Every day, we hit the news, so it's just like, damn, we need some positivity, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So do you see music as your way to make it oh, out yeah. there, then? Oh, yeah. All, music always been my connection since birth, you know okay. what I'm saying? My heartbeat was probably a damn instrumental or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that, man. So growing up, like, what were you into as a kid then, man? man? I ain't gonna lie. When I was little, like, music always been my shit. But when I was little, I like, I like sports. You know what I'm saying? Now it's crazy because I don't even really fuck with sports. I couldn't tell you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really? I couldn't tell you shit about nothing. You know what I'm saying? But when I was little, I like sports. Like always, but I was like to entertain that. That was my thing, like the spotlight. You know what I'm saying? I got to have that. You feel me? Like you gonna know me. So anything that deal with just like entertaining people, like I hear I was like a comedian type shit at one point. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like make people laugh and shit. But like I said, I always rap. Yeah, I was like five years old. My rap name was Lil Gummy. What, you I was like, five? Yeah, I was on. The, matter of fact, my sister got a video of me. Shout out to my sister. I was on the damn couch. Yeah, 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 turning up. <laughs> Had little shades on and shit. Five years old, turned up. That shit was lit. Oh, that's hard right there, man. So when would you say you jumped off the porch then? Shit. Be real, I jumped off the porch out by 10. Like, that's when I really, like, that's when I was, like, forced in the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, you know what I'm saying? But when I say I really, like, really got active, active, though, like, started getting on my bullshit, I was around, like, 14, 15. Okay. You got put out your house when you were 11? Yeah, man. How you, how you get kicked out at 11, man? man it wasn't too great with me and, my, me and my birth mama, you feel me? But it's all love, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no hate to her or nothing. But at the time, I don't know what was going on with her, what was going on with me, whatever. But we just weren't connecting, you feel what I'm saying? So she put me out when I was 11. And I ain't really had nowhere to go. So I went up the road to my grandma. Shout out to my grandma. She took me in and whatever. And then my pops were locked up at the time, you know what I'm saying? So. Whenever he got out, that's when I went back, lived back, staying with him. You know what I'm saying? Been on and off rocket or whatever, but yeah, that's when I was out here. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's when I figured out how to get it. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. time to go, time to boss up. You know what I'm saying? I got you, man. How'd you deal with that? That's a lot for an 11 year old to handle, yeah, man. Yeah, at first, at first I was just like, well, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, damn, going to school, like same dirty ass clothes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when I started seeing the niggas on the block getting money. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh yeah. That's me, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I want that shit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't influence anybody watching to do that shit. The streets ain't cool, get a job. But yeah, that's what I thought, you know what I'm saying? So I jumped head first in, you know what I'm saying? I took some L's, learned over time. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, you end up getting locked up when you were just 16? Yup, yup. 
Yep. So what was that experience like? Were you way long or was it just like yeah. in and out thing? Nah, I, I, won't, I was only in there for two and a half days. I ain't even gonna cap. Cause um, my pops and shit, man, like I said, he was all in and out, in and out. And he was, matter of fact, he was out of town working at the time. I had got locked up in Greensboro, North Carolina, two accounts of salt and battery and shit. Oh, wow. And um, nobody want to give me out cause I was young, you know what I'm saying? So he's supposed to have like a guardian and get you out at that age, you feel what I'm saying? Sign you out or whatever. Mm -hmm. And me and my mom had a little rock relationship and shit. She wasn't really fucking with getting me out. So shout out my pops, he come all the way from Tennessee, and got them come got me out, you know oh, what I'm damn. saying? I was lit when I got that bitch. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So did you stay with him in Tennessee at that point, or nah, did you nah, go back home? Nah, that's, he stayed he stay in Lumsden. Then I was just up there in Greensboro, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I was actually fucking around with music and shit then, you know what I'm saying? So I was up there, you know, fucking around with some people and shit, and then ended up getting a little altercation or whatever. And then he ended up got me out, so I just tore my ass back to the house. I said, fuck that, I'm going home, <laughs> lay low for a little bit. Yeah. Did you end up finishing school or did you oh, drop yeah, out? Oh yeah, 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 I okay. graduated. Nah, shout out, my, shout out to my pops and my grandma, they already told me, if you ain't got nothing, you gotta have that education. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I made sure I got that for them, for nothing else. I mean, I was gonna quit plenty of times, but they pushed me, you know what I'm saying? I give them that, they pushed me too. Yeah, nah, that's smart right there, man. So, you know, going through all that shit, man, what's been one of the biggest lessons you had to learn then? Biggest lesson I learned is really enjoy every moment you got, you never know when it's your last. Watch a circle, keep it small. Yeah. Like, just don't fucking trust nobody. Keep it staying on our team, keep your eyes peeled, because there's always secret animosity somewhere. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, definitely, man. You know, just looking on your IG, you got long live a list of people, and man. And I ain't even a half of the shit, Jeez. man. I ain't even a half. I lost more people than I can count. True. Real talk. I ain't even gonna catch. And it's crazy, because before, before we came out to the A, I was talking to my mom, and she was like, damn, I was just in your room. I was looking at all these shirts and shit you got hung up in here and she was like, yeah, you so young to have all this, this and that. I was like, yeah, but I always told by the old folks, if you were coming for seasons and reasons, lessons and blessings. So all of them were just angels in the skies. Yeah. That's how I feel it. Cause they, it all of them, I got something off of like that stick with me, you know what I'm saying? They keep me pushing, so. Yeah, just use that as your motivation, as your inspiration, man. Absolutely, right, right. man. Yeah, so you mentioned starting rapping since you were five, but when would you say, like, you started hitting the studio or just recording music and putting it yeah, out yourself? I ain't yourself even there? really gonna lie, like, probably like just a year ago when I really started, mm -hmm. like, really said, boom, I'm going here first with this music shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always been the nigga, let's, let's get high, turn on the beat, freestyle, but that shit don't take you nowhere, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I really got a passion for this shit, I really wanna do something, you know what I'm saying? So I, I went and started investing in myself, that's number one key. I went and started buying studio time. And then at first, me and my boy had some studio equipment we would chop up in the crib. We was recording in the closet. felt like Kanye, you know what I'm saying? I was in that bitch chilling, you know what I'm saying? And then I had made one song in the closet called True Story. Some old shit on my YouTube. People started fucking with it. They were like, damn, little bro, you got it, you know what I'm saying? So I just like, boom, 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 kept going with it. And thing you know, it just took off. I was just like, damn, I really got this shit for real, you know what I'm saying? Cause the shit too easy to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't write. All my shit freestyle, straight off the dome, straight like that, fire with it. Yeah. But it's like, this shit too easy, but at the same time, I ain't gonna do nothing just sitting in the car freestyling, you know what I'm saying? I gotta invest on myself. So once I started doing that, the results came. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Who'd you grow up listening to? Who were some of your favorite artists, man? Well, really, I ain't got, I can't say I got no favorite because I'm so versatile, it's like I listen to everything. Yeah. But number one, number one, Long Live Pop, man. That yeah. motherfucker, that motherfucker is the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Pop, cause my pops, man, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he tried to change ways and show me the right way in life, but you know, we all ain't perfect. So back in the day, you know, he was he was on that thug shit too, you know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? So I grew up, I'm bumping from goddamn Pop, N.W.A., Q, Easy, e goddamn Minutes, Eight, all them boys, you oh, know what shit. I'm saying? Old oh, shit, and I'm in the back. Hey, goddamn eight years old, you know that song, John by Lil Wayne, Rick Ross? Uh -huh. I know how to rap the whole song. I'm in the back, I got the chopper in the car, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back there just turned up, so, and then, I got mainly sisters, you know what I'm saying? Like I got little brothers and shit, but they stay on the road with my real mom and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really get to see them much. So mainly it's like, besides being on the block with the gang, I grew up around females, so it's like, I'm tuning in on that other side too. Like I fuck with a deal, shit okay. like that. Like yeah. I'm so versatile shit that niggas don't even know. That's why like when you go to my music, you'll see the versatility. You ain't just gonna find some drill shit. You might find some love shit, club shit, pain shit. Fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? Everything, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna do today, switch it up on them, show them some of that love shit, you know what I'm saying? I feel so. that, man. 
So, like, what do you feel like brings out the best out of you in your music, Dan? Is it when you're going through some pain shit, with some real life really, shit, or really, was it when you turned up, like, all right? Really, it's just like, that shit crazy, because it's like, I don't got to be in no mood to go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, when I go in there, the beat come on, it's like, every beat that come on, it's like, something will go in my head automatically, like something that went through, boom. And it's just, it's like it tells itself, you know what I'm saying? All I got to do is just put it out there, so. But I ain't gonna lie, my turn shit though, that be my shit, cause I be like, yeah, you feel me? And that bitch, yeah, turned up. But then at the same time, like that pain shit, I love that the most, cause it's like, I get to show people who I am. And that's where I get like my most feedback, like, damn, bro, I feel that shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's some real nigga shit. Like, I fuck with this song type shit, it helped me through the day. That shit, like, really means something, you feel mm -hmm. me? That's what's gonna turn them fans into lifelong supporters, too. Yeah, when yeah. You when, they know that, when they know that story, they know why you do it, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's real, bro. Um, so, like, is there much of a music scene out there in Lumberton right now, or what, Man, what's going on? They, they, they plenty, they plenty of artists out there. I'm giving that salute to everybody working. There's a lot of talent out there. That's just the number one thing, though. People don't want to push their shit, and like, they don't want to work. Like you, like they just, I don't know. It's just like people think somebody gonna come, hold their hand, walk them through. Like, all right, your music hard, bro. I'm gonna sign you. I'm gonna set up everything for you. All you gotta do is come rap. You know, it ain't that easy. You know what I'm saying? Like. You got to push your shit, make motherfuckers want to come, got them. you know what I'm saying? If people would do that there, we'll take over the rap game. Straight like that, I ain't even gonna lie. They some heat out there, real heat. These niggas don't want to work for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? They just think people gonna give it to them, you know what I'm saying? And so there's some people that's not unfor that's unfortunate, can't invest in themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, niggas like me gonna come in, I'm gonna come back, get them niggas showing the way, you know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, they definitely use the scene out there. I feel that. Would you say you get more support back at home or elsewhere then? I ain't even gonna lie, elsewhere. Because hmm. everybody, every rapper know they can hate you more in your hometown than anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's just like people, they don't want to see you win really. It's like, because they feel like, oh, you owe them something or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you blew up. You supposed to take, you supposed to take all of us with you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it ain't necessarily that easy because it ain't always what it seems. You feel what I'm saying? But. So you're going to have people going to hate you. Oh, let's rob this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn this show up, shoot that bitch up, this and that. But at the same time, I do get a lot of love. Like, I can go to the store or something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Draco, Draco. You know what I'm saying? I love that shit. I love that shit. I swear. That. <laughs> no, that's all right there. So do you got any plans to move outside the county then to kind of get further expand your career yeah, there? it's really where I want to move to. To the A. To the or A. Either to Florida. Yeah. Miami or some shit. Just like, okay. Just that. Waking up every day and it's like. It's just a move every day, you know what I'm saying? Because you only get one life. So I want to make sure I live that shit for real instead of waking up in the hood every day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nah, for real. Uh, what's some of the challenges that come with being a new artist in the game right now? Really? <clears throat> the challenge is like, you just got to keep that pressure on them because it's like everybody want to rap. You know what I'm saying? There's a million people trying to do what you got to do. So it's like, you got to make sure you are working the next man. Because if you're not, you already a step behind. You already fit. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't working with somebody else working, they already beating you to the punch. You know what I'm saying? Then not only that, there's so many other artists who got such a fan base. Like, when you get real fans, fans really die for you type shit. You know what I'm saying? They really love you. So it's like, you got to try to get somebody else fan base to fuck with you. So it's like going to another nigga block that's already been had that bitch on lock trying to serve something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't just too easy. You got to work your way in. But once you work your way in, you know what I'm saying? Show people love, get your love back, do what you got to do, come there and turn up, give them a reason to want to fuck with you. Yeah, I'll come with due time. Nah, absolutely. So is it a goal for you to get signed uh, by a label or are you happy doing it independently, man? Man, I, I ain't necessarily like looking. Like for no label, I mean, if labels come to me right offers or whatever, I ain't gonna say I'm a deny, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just like, I'm gonna do me, you know what I'm saying? Do me, keep pushing, keep pushing. So it's like, if the label ain't on the shit I'm on, I can't work with them because I just need to do what I'm gonna do. It ain't like, I ain't necessarily just wanna do it just for the money, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what people fuck up. Mm -hmm. They get in the rap game, like, oh, first nigga that try to throw me five, six hundred thousand, fuck it, I'm gonna take it. Nah, bro, they about to make a couple mil off your ass, you know Easy. what I'm saying? You could have put that in your pocket. You know what I mean? So it's like, I need that bread at the same time, so you're not gonna hustle me out my bread, but at the same time, I'm doing it more for a passion, so you can't just blind me with no ticket, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel that. Do you have anyone uh, like on your team in your corner that you can turn to for advice? Oh about yeah, for the sure, my, side? My, my manager, he, def he definitely got a lot tuned in on the business side, so yeah. he keep me tuned in with the shit for real. Like, keep my eyes open on shit, like, hey, watch this nigga. You, you know, he might just be 
trying to fuck with you to do this or shit like this or you know he'll, he'll research somebody before we just lock in with him yeah. you feel what i'm saying so definitely ain't walking in nothing blind yeah no that's important man a lot of scammers out here a lot of fucking people just trying to take advantage of the situation you just want a little man. bit of that money exactly man. all right so what can you tell us about the inspiration for the single all dead man I ain't even gonna lie, that shit just came in the studio. Like, I was just in that bitch, right? The beat came on. I was just like, I want a mom there. I want a mom there, yo. And my boy was with me, right? Okay, at the time, I had like the little cough and shit. So I'm not, and I ain't really too much of like a vocalist, you feel me? So I'm like a rapper. So that's what my boy 6K, that to say feature on there, he the one did the, uh, the verse, you know what I'm saying? All day, I'm like, here, but it's how I want you to do it. Come in there and hit that bitch. And hit a little voice, and my, mine and his voice, <clears throat> about like the same, you feel what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, that shit gonna work. And boom, I was like, yeah, I want a mom dead. I want a mom dead. Boom, then it hit. I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I want to do. Because my brother, long live my brother Jay, you know what I'm saying? He got murdered or whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Rest his soul. And that's what I was thinking about at the time. I was like, yeah, I want all these niggas dead. You feel what I'm saying? But like I guess I don't promote violence. It ain't cool to be out here killing and drilling kids. But that's how I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, fuck that. You took mama to take yours. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? But. That's where that came from. Then it just kept turning up. And I, I, I didn't even expect that bitch to be my hit out of all of them. Really? And that bitch is, now when I go to the club, as soon as they hear the beat drop, I want them all dead. I'm like, damn, let's go. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, they got the project on the grind out right oh, yo, now. Yo, yo, on the grind. That bitch definitely, yeah, that bitch doing numbers too. And then I just dropped a song for my brother, Don Lil Quay. You know what I'm okay. saying? My brother that pass. And then um, I got actually got on March 25th. I got another album dropping called Stopping at Nothing. And oh, that bitch gonna go crazy. I actually I ain't put that out on nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't started I actually starting to promote that on two, three days from now. I'm gonna go ahead, you know what I'm saying, start promoting it. Cause I ain't cause I got this sh uh, show coming up with Lil Double O, opening up for Lil Double O in Marion, South Carolina. Okay. For Lil Fusion on the twenty fifth, the same day the album drops. So it's like I'm trying to promote both of them at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So but yo, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that on them too. I'm standing on their neck all 2022. And That's I got an article, I just finished another album the other night. I ain't got a name or nothing for it yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. Had that bitch ready to go ahead and drop on them in April. Oh, that's all right. Back to ass. back on the ass. Back man. to back, and ain't gonna yeah. stop. All 2022. Flood them with content, they're gonna drown. Yeah. I'm telling you. So the new album that drops on the 25th, man, what should fans expect to hear on that, man? What type of vibes are you giving Ooh, them? That bitch turnt. That bitch <laughs> all the way turnt. I'm showing, I'm, like, I'm on their ass with that one. like. I put some heart in that bitch. I make sure they gonna feel me in that one. Yeah. You gonna feel that? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here to stay. Either you like it or not, I'm here. Is there a singular video you plan to push off of there first? Off of that one, probably my first. <coughs> excuse me, my first one probably gonna be that I'm gonna really push. It's gonna be like that because I'm already gave them a little taste of it at the club. Mm -hmm. Like I put, like that's what I do before I drop something. I give them a little taste of something. See, I get their vibe off of it. And when I gave them that one. They ate that bitch up, so I already <laughs> know that's the one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that's smart. That way you get the instant feedback. Right. You can tell so if, I, yeah. so if, if this is like worth it. putting some money into or right. not. Right. So if they go ahead and eat that one up, all right, boom, give them more of that. We'll make them want it even more. But they ain't really fucking with it. All right, I got something else for you. Hold on. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I'll find out. I'll yeah. find out what you want. Hold on. <laughs> for sure. You plan to put any features on that album? Matter of fact, I got a feature on there with my brother. My brother, my real brother, his name Whoop. Um, I got feature on him. I might feature with a couple other people, throw it on there, just a pin, but I don't really do much features, you know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> it ain't really, <coughs> I like the network, you know what I'm saying? I just ain't been doing much features right now because like I'm trying to get <coughs> my story out, you get what I'm saying? Like, I want people to hear me. And then me and my niggas can come in here and turn this bitch up. But right now, you gonna hear me, you feel what I'm saying? Understood, man. Uh, what about producer-wise? Who have you been working with, or? Man, I really, just depends on where I'm at. I, I, you know what I'm saying, hit studios up. Man, shout out to my boy Chef 8V8 in Fayetteville. We've been chopping up a lot in the Ville, in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Then I'm chopped out at um, Chop House, Chop House and then okay, other yeah. in Greensboro. And I, man, I work with a lot of different producers, man. There's a bunch, just a bunch of different people, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when I go to the studio, but before we start cooking up, I vibe with them first. You get what I'm saying? Make sure they ain't on no. Cause you know some producers they just buy that bread. Mm -hmm. You go in there, they just record your shit, and send it to you. You know what I'm saying? You got. I go in there, I fuck with them. I make sure they on. They really buy their business. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to all the producers that work with me. You know who you are. You put in that work. 
Nah, for real, man. Um, so what's some of your goals for the rest of 2022, man? What are you trying to accomplish this year, man? Man, my, I just know I'm going to stay on their neck. I want to sell out a show before the end of 2022. That's like my main goal. I want to sell out a show. Like, sell that bitch all the way out, wall to wall, word for word. You feel what I'm saying? That's my real goal for the end of 2022. And I know it's going to happen. I got you, man. Manifesting it right now. Got to, man. You got to put it out in the universe, man, so it will come back to you. Energy is everything. For sure, man. You got any advice you'd like to share to the youth, uh, to the new generation coming up right now, Draco? Man, to the youth, chase your dreams. Don't settle for nothing. Know your worth. Don't let these streets trick you out your car, man. These streets ain't sweet. This shit ain't for you. This shit set up by the government, man. Just stay on your grind. Chase your dream. Don't settle for shit. Wise words there, yeah. All right, Draco, you got shout-outs you like to get before we wrap it up here, man? Man, just shout-out to all my boys in the hood, man. All my niggas that's been down since day one. Shout-out to all my boys in the cage. Shout-out to all my boys in the gray LA, y'all niggas forever. Shout-out to all the fam back home. Shout-out to the 910. You know how we coming. It's the takeover, man. You know how we coming. Shout-out to my team. Shout-out to all my fans. Just shout-out to the whole world, because you about to know what's going on. Glee. Yeah, I want them all dead. Yeah, I want them all dead. Yeah, I want them all dead. Yeah, I want them all dead.